Okay, welcome back. And here's an example we're going to work on. And then I'll give you you one to work on. So let's say we have these three point masses located at these three points in the xy plane. Okay? And we want to find the center of mass. Or in other words, the balancing point in between those three points or among those three points. So the first thing we're going to do is let's find the center of mass, right? So basically we're just putting the pieces together and then we're going to calculate x bar and y bar. That's what we need to do. So let's do m. m is easy. So this total mass is 12 kilograms. And now we need to figure out m sub x and m sub y. Now remember, m sub x is the summation of i equals 1 to 3 of m sub i y sub i, right? With respect to the x-axis means that we're going to be using y coordinates. And so now we're going to take what? This is going to be 2 times 3 plus 6 times 1 plus 4 times negative 2. Okay? And so n sub x is going to equal 6 plus 6 uh, plus negative 8, which is going to be 12 minus 8, which is 4. Okay, and again, if you want to use units, that's fine. So this is going to be kilograms times meters, let's say. Okay? Okay, now m sub y. Similarly, i equals 1 to 3 m sub i times x sub i, right? So it's with respect to the y-axis. So we're going to be using x coordinates. And so again, similarly, this is going to be equal to what? The masses times the x coordinates. So this is going to be 2 times negative 1 plus 6 times 1 plus 4 times 2. And so this is going to equal negative 2 plus 6 plus 8, which is going to equal um, 12. Okay. Okay, so now we got all the pieces we need. Now all we have to do is calculate x bar. And y bar. So x bar is what? n sub y over m, and y bar is m sub x over m. And so what's m sub y? This is 12, so it's going to be 12 divided by 12, which equals 1, and y bar is m sub x divided by m, which is going to be 4 over 12, which equals 1 third. <clears throat> and so these are both in meters. And if you do the unit analysis, it works out, right? If you have kilogram meters uh, over kilograms, and you've got kilogram meters over kilograms, you're going to end up with meters. So it's a position, right? So it makes sense. We did, it, we did it correctly. So that means we got our final answer. So the center of mass is located at 1 comma 1 third. And that's it. So now here's one for you. Try out this one.
And these are in meters again, kilograms and meters. So we've got these three point masses placed at these corresponding points in the xy plane. So find the center of mass. Okay? Have a great day.